Hello and welcome to Retro Roulette. Eat fresh. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Fortune. Mm-mm-mm-mm good. Jason Amherst. <laughs> Ashley Miller. <laughs> Put a bird on it. And Billy Carter. Old fashioned Hergus Burgess. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh yeah, Weedies. we are. Oh, yeah, Weedies, old fashioned Hergus oh, Burgess. So, so booby, eat free. <laughs> McNaldo's. I like the it. <laughs> Taco Banco, tinkle outside the bankle. I love tinkling outside the bankle. It's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> like ever. I, I tinkle when I outside the bankle. Yeah, it's, 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 it's been, been in a way. exclusively within Under the bankle. <laughs> and yeah. and in other news and in other news because Dane does not like the tinkle outside the bank hole, that makes Mike oh, the tinkle yeah. outside the bank hole king. <gasps> oh, is this conquer? No. We're not far enough along no. in the oh. library to do that yet. Oh, this oh is, this is, is, But it is the predecessor to conquer. Poppy dead yes, father. This is this is the uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, banjo kazoo. Never mind. Yep, the uh, predecessor this? to uh, conquer and ukulele. This game I got on my uh, uh, Xbox uh, One, and I just seriously just started playing it like a couple of months ago, and just doing like I want to get every fucking puzzle piece. Every fucking honeycomb. I don't care. Let me collect that shit. I fucking love this. Now, if I still have access to it, that's neither that that's the important question. Because I think you need an Xbox just, just Live. Just trap yourself to down a uh, copy of Rare Replay because uh, that has like all of Rare's games on one disc. Yeah, that's right, sis. That's right. You play that fucking flute, and we play that fucking hillbilly music. Sorry, I was applying some cheats, because there's no way in hell we're going to play very much of this game, considering how large you it is. Realize, yeah. You realize that if you were to apply too many cheats in, in gameplay, that it would completely fuck up your, your game that's, state file. That's if you do it in-game, not with a game shark. <laughs> yeah, Game Shark's different. Yeah, and then of course you know Donkey Kong sixty four is just like, oh, you Donkey guys are Dong. gonna cheat? Well, fuck you! I'm gonna fuck up your game. <laughs> uh. Donkey Dong, Donkey Dong sixty four. I mean, uh, that that game it was a wonder that they could get it to work without uh, you know the N sixty four crashing. You know, I mean that that game required the expansion pack to work. Speaking of games that I was partaking in, um, I've been trying out some of the games that I got for... Okay. Uh, first, of, first of all, Steel Empire? Mwah. Chef's Kiss. Oh, yes. It is It is a very good game. Great game. Mm. Arcus Odyssey? Eh, not bad. It's not good. It's not bad. Uh, Subterranea. Controls are a little wacky. Yeah, they're a little they yeah, they're a little weird. A little weird, a little wacky. Wacky noonie. Toxic Crusaders. Wasn't impressed. I could have told you that. Well, Which is a shame because you know Toxie deserves a game. I'm not. Well, well, it's not a bad game, but new... there's a new beat 'em up coming out with the character in it. So, Joe, I... Banjo, God damn it! I don't like I also, sweating. I also Banjo. played dinosaurs, dinosaurs for hire. Oh, I like that game. game. It's pretty fucking wacky, but it's it's good. Hi there, duty. Uh, what are you going to do today? When my big lazy motherfucking brother wakes up, we're going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. hey, hey! Tootie doesn't curse you. 
Jaggle with some ass. Look at that. That motherfucker doesn't even sleep in pajamas. No, he sleeps in the nude like I do. That's risky, especially if you, like, fart in your sleep. That's why I don't have white sheets. Ah, oh, Jesus. What happens if you have like a fire and you have to just leave and you don't have time to get dressed? This sticks out for Harambe. It's, it's either you or your pride, and your dick is not uh. worth being burnt over your pride. Oh my god, why is there a grizzly bear? Oh, it's just doing everything. Don't scratch and bite you, little shit. There's a hairy bear running down the street with its wiener dragging across the ground. Oh, it's just Bill. Never mind. Yeah, yep. you, you, you know, would. You know goddamn well your wiener would be dragging down the ground. It's like, mommy, No, I, mommy. No, I'd have it lift over your my shoulder. Maybe, you're right. but not your wiener. <laughs> no, I'd have it lifted over my shoulder, of course, you know. Like, oh! He wants to Mike, are you, are you eating and or drinking something? I might be eating a Reese's fast break. A Reese, kind of Reese's Reese's during Reese's. that cutscene. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, the fast break. Wow, there's like a break. huge event going on in Miami, like somewhere down the road. It has Gloria Estefan, P. Escovito, Debbie Nova, Gloria Tony Estefan. Sukar, Mimi Sukar, Jean Rodriguez. And Sheila E? Fuck yeah. Sheila Easton? No, Sheila E, the drummer. Not Sheena. Sheila. You know, she oh. wants to live a glamorous oh, okay. life. She don't need. Sounds like, a, sounds like a Latin American festival. Look, Sheila E is the shit. Like, she's fucking awesome. I love her. Although it's Sheena Easton is kind of funny too. Sheena Easton during a Prince show had a guy like almost tied to a chair, and it's like, ladies, don't you hate when your man comes home with the stink of another woman's pussy on his Johnson? No, I don't. I mean, don't why do you think? That. Why do you think Prince wrote this on pussy control? <laughs> you know, I can't hear that song without then also thinking about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh. All right, time to go on an adventure, Mike. You've got your big bear pants. You've got your big bear backpack with your big bird friend. Fuck got them your big up. Bear boner. Hold on a second. Big bird's not in this game. He's he's a sesame fruit property. Well, I said big bear backpack with your bird friend it's inside. Big bear back. You said your big bird friend. You said well, bear back. Yeah. yeah I meant bear, bear as in backpack. <laughs> bear backpack. It's a bear backpack, not bear back. You Listen, we all know we all know Banjo likes to fuck without a con, okay? I mean that that would bear do. You need to do a flip. Do you uh yeah, I was gonna say do a flip. You could do a flip <laughs> and I think a double jump at the height of the flip. Chibi dokey. Hey, um, hey, Billy, how to do the Look thing? at this in the Facebook chat. There Hold we on. go. There Ooh. we go, big boy. I'm proud That's of you. That's okay. I, I didn't need to sleep tonight. That's a big titty. That's a big titty cat That's lady. A big titty, big titty, that, big titty. Uh, I'm, I'm no furry, but. Is that even oh, real? God, I'm cosplay. no furry butt. He's like, I'm no furry, I but I would definitely back risk the cat squeeze. I ain't no furry back from, girl. Uh, I ain't no furry back girl. That, that is a cosplay from uh, Star Fox Adventures Dinosaur Planet. Crystal? Uh, is that fucking Crystal? Yep. And that is an amazing freaking makeup job. Hang on a second. I'm going to post I'm gonna post a very risque um, 
Not safe for work. Picture of titties in the chat. Hang on. Be careful. That cauliflower is your enemy. There we go. Now oh, remember, Crystal does today. not look like a those big are, titties. Aren't those the biggest titties you've ever seen? Those are I huge. Those are big titties, but they're kind of flat. They're not like badam. Well, you could, that's because you're not using your imagination. Well, I, here's the thing. Don't you I think have this, respect does, for does, titties. Don't, don't you think that person has silky, bootylicious titties? Bootylicious. Did you post also, a picture uh, of also me? Also, this one is for Billy. Did I put a picture of what? Me. No. No. I don't think you are bootylicious at all. I think you're ugly as fuck. <laughs> Well, hey, I mean, you know there's... what? You said that, not me, sir. But I said it in your voice. So. Ooh, dude, That's not dude. how I said it. I can't show the thing I want sure to show oh, because it's not jokes. meaner in it, but it's guy tits. Okay. But you I know can't what? Show you're going to make fun of your best friend of 20 years. I'm just going to do that. going to do that, D. Yep. Let me know when you're done so I can do it. That yeah. was hard to hey, be Billy, furry boobs. I know, right? Like, I'm not a furry, but goddamn. Stop saying He's furry, like, but. I'm not that, a furry, that would but I would smash. That would is that a real me. person? That is a real person in cosplay with prosthetic on their face. If she would just remove all that paint and just. He's like, <laughs> I just, I just want her to wear me not like a sure, skin not suit. Not sure if body paint or or body suit. You know what I mean? Well, for her to wear that loincloth like that, it probably is a body suit. Uh, they would not allow that at any con. It's it's at a con. Yeah. They're, I mean, they, it's. I don't know, I see her navel, although that could be painted on. <laughs> Apparently we are living in a real life movie. You know why? Ooh. Why? Picture this. A Roger Rabbit sequel where the Looney Tunes start mysteriously disappearing at the Warner Brothers lot. And in the end, they discover the CEO is deleting them for the insurance money. <gasps> Oh shit! Oh my god, that that would be a fucking great satire. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I read the synopsis, the leaked synopsis of Wiley versus Acme, and I, I said it before, and I'll say it again. If that is the legit synopsis, and it's not somebody who made a fake. That would, yeah. have been a great, that would have been a great fucking movie. Same. Yes, Jace would have been a great movie. Also, <laughs> also my God. I, I finished Do Da D. All right, thank you. I got to go guys Do Da D now. Okay, if you guys want ahead. some Nike, Nike mags, you know, from Back to the Future 2, uh, on eBay, they went $399 for them. You know... Are you talking about like the self-tying shoes? Yeah. <sighs> I think it would be like a lot more with that. Some yeah, the thing. air mags. Yeah. <laughs> the air Jerry Sapnovich. They only come in one color. <laughs> Burnt fuchsia. There's lights. Oh, yeah. Uh, Billy, did you hear about the weirdest addition to the uh, In Japan Heroes universe coming soon this year? What, what is it? Shin Yara Naika. Huh? It's, uh, remember the ancient Yaoi meme of Yara Naika? Yara Naika. Uh, yeah, I've never watched Yaoi. <laughs> I don't know what one of those words mean. It's the freaking face. Like, the, the freaking... The yaoi face. Hold on. Uh, that I do not know, my dude. This face. 
Oh no! <laughs> what have you done to Kirby? Oh lord, that. Okay, all right. Oh. Yeah, so uh, apparently there's going to be an all-ages adaptation of it coming out this spring. Oh. Mm. Why is Kirby trying to look human? Like, hello, my name is Kirby. Synopsis. The story begins oh when God. Masaki Michishita, an ordinary prep school student who is rushing to the bathroom in the park one day. Despite his rush, he spots Takakazu Abe, an exceedingly handsome auto mechanic, sitting on a bench. Did the two exchange he... looks. Did you say he had to go to the bathroom one day and his name was Ihatu Takashita? <laughs> Michishita. Yeah. Oh. Mitsubishi, sorry. Uh, bless, so, bless he spots you. Takakazu Abe, an exceedingly <laughs> handsome auto mechanic, sitting on a bench. The two exchange looks, and after Abe utters, Yadanaika, shall we do it? The two begin their encounter. God. In the middle of the intersection. <laughs> um. <laughs> All well, right, I quit. Cowboy butt quit sex. Me. Mechanic butt Auto sex. Mechanic butt sex. <laughs> Just, just right. right away. Hey, you looked at me. I want to have butt sex. Yep, yep. That's how it works. Seriously, this is the poster for it. This is the poster for it. No. Oh dear God. No, please. I, I don't want it. <laughs> no. No, this oh, really God. is. Is this? Is this the a, a yaoi? Yes. Yeah. It's an infamous oh. yaoi that they're a making an all-ages version of. It's a yaoi, wowie. An all-ages version, so meaning they're going to tone down everything. Yeah. Oh, the no. The infamous gonna... meme face from, from years ago is coming back. They're going to take <laughs> out all the sex, all the gay sex, all the everything. They might just end up becoming just buddies. So it's, they're just going to leave in the heavy doses of innuendo. Just and now you just know if somebody walks up to you and says, Yada Nika, you know exactly what they mean. Uh, Gentlemen, it's, it's, walk on, I... thoughts on Banjo Kazooie, <laughs> Dane? Well, it's a great platforming game. It's unfortunately one of those games where you need a whole episode to explore it. You know, we only just scratched the yes. surface, and this is one of those games that I would want Mike to play fully in the future. Because it's a very good game. I mean, it's a railway station. Uh, Jason. <laughs> yeah, this is this is this is a classic right here. Um, although I've been kind of banjo kazooie to death, um, probably because I've just played this so many times uh, or watched other people play it. Ikabunkum. So uh, I, I'd, I'd rather see Mike. I'd rather see Mike play uh, ukulele instead, uh, just for a uh, twist. I That's don't even know one. how to play ukulele. Oh, you mean the game? Sorry, <laughs> I didn't know. You stupid ass! This is my ukulele song, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ashley. We, 20 minutes is not enough to go into this. 20 minutes, like, it barely, it took you 10 minutes to get through the fucking backstory and tutorial. Yeah, it took me 10 fucking minutes to get through the fucking. It's not a bad <laughs> game, like and I love it, and yeah, I like nine and a half it. Minutes of, nine and a half minutes of crying in 30 seconds of seconds. But it's, it's, there's more to seen. this game that you need more time to indulge in. Billy. Uh it's uh it's a, it's it's a good game. It's a legendary game and uh yeah, it's a good way to get fat. Uh. Huh? <laughs> it's a good way to get fat. Oh yeah, if you sit there long enough playing this game and you eat, you will get fat. 
I don't eat while I'm playing video games, Billy. That you just up had a candy controller. bar. Yeah, but I didn't have the controller in my hand. It was during a cutscene, you fat fuck. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. He lost you fat weird. fuck. Hey, fat fuck. Now you're just a fuck. Hey, fat fuck. <laughs> he's, he's a fuck formerly known as fat. Get it right. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, this game is the game that really pushed Rare to the next level uh, on uh, in terms of their relationship with Nintendo. This is basically... Uh, if you're a fan of Rare at all, I mean, then you will love this game. That's no doubt about that. Um, scores out of 10, Dane. Dang. Jason. Dang. Ashley. A 10. Billy. Zero. No, I mean 10. Yeah, 10. I ten, was about to say, I'm you letting your All righty, we're about to spin that wheel one more time. One more time. One more time. time. It's time, time. time. It's time. Oh, yeah. All right, I was wondering so when we get. Wait, 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 wait. wait. But this is I the know it's game. only the second <laughs> game. I know it's, it's only the second game. It's a chuck it's a chuck of my dong. It's a chuck it's a chuck of my Ooh. What? Oh, Everyone no. jump my dong. Everyone touch my dong. What is what this, game I, is this? This game is about I have to touch a love hate. Dong. I have a I have a love hate relationship oh. with this game. Oh. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. This is gonna yeah. be one of those days. This is better <laughs> than the play play. It's better than special forces. Yeah. It is better than special forces, and they had so much potential. So much potential, and they fucked it up. You sort of will be. Yeah, the PlayStation version was better because didn't it have like cutscenes and stuff that were cut yes. from it the. Had, uh, it had fully uh, acted cutscenes. Cut cut Shall we sample? Chain. <laughs> Chain. That, of course. Uh, Chain. That, of course, there's also the fact that uh, Steel the if it weren't for failures like this yeah. and uh, the other one, we wouldn't have gotten the amazingness that was Shaolin Monks. Oh, that game was great. Oh, Shaolin Monks was perfection. I'll be right back, guys. So much so that they wanted to do a sequel to it called Fire and Ice, where you could switch between Scorpion and Sub-Zero, but um, the fucking, uh, fucking Midway had to be a bitch. Now remember, Mike, you're going to have to manually turn around because if you don't, you could I end know. up walking into a death. I'm not stupid. I, I love you. I love you. I'm this, not stupid. This just I'm reminds just stupid. me of how bad Batman Forever was. No, Batman Forever. Batman Forever was bad, but it was not as like how I, I don't know. Both of these games have like. Batman Forever has because potential. Both games tried doing freaking platforming beat em up stuff with fighting game controls. That is true. That is true. It's just, I think the thing that really pissed me off about this game was you had to manually turn. Like, if you're going to make an action adventure game with fighting game mechanics, don't make, like, press this button to turn 180. Press this button to squat. Press this button to slap my ass like a drum. Y you don't fucking yeah, do that. I mean, like, they, they did the same thing in the freaking Batman game, except you had to do, like, weird fighting game inputs for all of the weird, like, Batman weapons and stuff. And don't even get me fucking started on that goddamn grappling hook. Like, how the fuck am I supposed exactly. to go down a level? How the fuck am I supposed to go up a level? Now you have to grab that because it'll restore your health. Or it's like, riddle me this, riddle me that. Can you really survive having to deal with that? Shit. Oh, and experience. Oh, I'm riddle my ass. Yeah, the you more know, you there was a perfectly good freaking beat em up that was only released in arcades, too, unfortunately. Okay. 
So you have to activate the pillar using a sweep kick. And as long as you're not too close, you can run. Also, you could throw a guy under the pillar and it will kill them. But yeah, the pillars always piss me off. First, you gotta fluff the pillar. Well, of then you gotta hate you the do. pillars. No, it's I have a love hate relationship with this game because for years, for years, I could not get past the the oh, wind. I love that. No, oh. you gotta run. You gotta run. I don't know how to run. Yeah, there's also. A, uh, I think it's one of the shoulder buttons. And but, yeah, it's 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 a and imagine if the pillars were stacked together like two or three at a time. It's like ooh, you fuck. Balls. You can see balls. Sweaty balls. balls. You sweaty can balls. you can sweaty balls. You can see how this game is a love hate relationship for me because as much as I love Mortal Kombat and as much as I love that it went into the backstory of Bihan, it's fucked. It is so fucked. And I I know this is retro roulette, but it's like I feel like I'm gonna backseat game on a lot of this. It's like, you know, kick kick ninja kick the motherfucker. Punch, you, get punch, you all remember? Punch, kick, like, do, do the spine. If you do the spine rip fatality on, on Scorpion, then you have to fight him in the nether realm. But if you don't do the spine rip on him, then you just um, fight some random hell guard. Why, is that so, why was that sword guy just standing there? It's on easy difficulty. They're like, is this motherfucker for real? Okay, use the balcony I, I, ledge carefully sure and land on the everything. part below. So, jump. And jump. Good boy. I mean, uh, yes. Boy. I, I mean, yes. I, I mean, vagina. Sorry. I, 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 sorry, the, the, the soft dom in me was talking and she she need not do that aha bitch Upper. combos oh, combos do the, oh oh you're in the bird combos give you experience but uppercut just makes things go better well if i can freeze them every time then the combos ain't no problem either <laughs> you that's know true I mean? Well, uh, and then you, oh, well, and, oh, and then I get gangbanged yeah. by the Tarkatan. <laughs> no, they're not Tarkatan. They're Shaolin monks. You're a Shaolin monk. Well, motherfucker, I am trying to save your life. Ooh, you had a good combo there. Behind you. Haha, -ha, bitch. You're not going to get to jump on me again, you fuck nut. Yeah, see, in this timeline, uh, the, the Shaolin monks are in possession of the map of elements, which leads to the Temple of Elements, which is hiding Shinnok's amulet, because Shinnok cannot enter the, the Temple of Elements, and neither can Quan Chi. That's why he hired both you and Scorpion to look for the map. Only difference is... Uh, he relied on you to find the map because you're the only one who could actually fight the demigods inside. Because yeah, at this time, Scorpion... Two of them again. Scorpion oh. does not have the ability to fight the demigods and win. You do. Well, that and of course, you know, Sub-Zero's bloodline is descended from Cryomancers from Outworld, but uh, that, that's, that's for another time. I don't even have to say anything. I can just, I can just sit back and let Ashley ramble on. Yeah. Look, I fucking love Mortal Kombat. Damn it! Mortal Kombat is my, my life. I'm just gonna sit here and collect Fuck. my paycheck. Oh. Yeah, that it's first, one of those the things. The second where pillar you have knocked to stop. me back into the first. You have to right in the middle where the lamp is. Okay, do yeah, the that's, kinky that's kinky. just as simple as that. It's so simple. Even a caveman it, could do it. Geico. Michael, I'm offended Michael. by that. 
Michael, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm offended I'm by being you being offended. A show out of uh, the Geico Caveman. Michael, I'm trying to remember. What are you trying to remember? Wasn't the first time they tried taking a uh, television uh, commercial and turning it into a TV show. Yeah, it was terrible. They failed. I'd rather well, have seen well, a cartoon uh, of the I Geico. Mean, it, it worked for Ernest, but it didn't work for Geico. Hey, hey, uh, That's because Jim Varney is is uh, fucking son of a bitch. Was. Jim Varney was a no. national treasure. He yeah. was endearing. He was Although, sweet. If I could have anybody play him in a uh, biopic, John Cena. John Cena. He would have to slim down though, because John Cena a little too thick. Nah, he's know. just. I, I, I would love to see Fickham's <laughs> Ernest. Look, I'm <laughs> sorry, Ernest. but like. Have you seen John Cena in like tidy whities? Like he got thick ass. And did you see him when he did that wardrobe protest at the Oscars? Like he got thick. Ashley was Ashley was hoping to see John Cena's little Cena. I I I got news for you. Even if the card wasn't there, he was wearing a cover a new covered color. Yeah, I know he was wearing a modesty garment. It's no no shit. You Look, gonna see I, it have anyway. been getting, I have that, been getting into no, intimacy bullshit. coordinations. And even if he was wearing tidy whities he was probably wearing a prosthetic to make his cock look different, which is still a form of intimacy, you know, wear. Get into that pillar, you fuck. Yeah. See, I remember the days when you used to be able to throw them into the pillar, and then, boom. God damn it. Some bitch. This game's a zero. A sub-zero. Ah, uh, <laughs> sub-zero, now just plain zero. <laughs> After the All right, everyone. Time to chill. I'm not the devil, but I won't be your hero. Oh, do, do, do. My name is no, Billy, no. and I go the It's time now for the Ice Age. That was great wow. seeing uh, Arnold and uh, and uh, uh, Jane together on stage at the Oscars. The winner, the winner is Godzilla minus one. Uh. We. I was so happy for that film when it got that. Yeah, same. I, I, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, if I swear to God, if they give it to one of those superhero movies, and then they said Godzilla minus one, I'm like, oh, finally, they actually respect fine art. Hey, listen, superhero movies schlocky at best, but when you get called out. And mind you, this is in reference to a speech that John Mulaney did. He said, Angela Bassett got an award nomination for being in a Marvel movie. Fuck. Which was not an insult at all, because considering Angela Bassett made the Black Panther films, like, that extra bit of elegance, and plus all the other Marvel actors who were there probably thought that shit was fucking hilarious. The, that's what made the rest of his speech so great because he says Angela Bassett won an award nomination for being in a Marvel movie. That's like winning a Nobel Peace Prize for a Reddit comic. They know it's a popcorn flick. They know it has a certain fan base and that not very many superhero movies can even get any God. kind of awards outside of maybe uh. CGI or Because it's balls achingly uh, hard. That's true. Turn around, fucker. Damn it. Hit B. There we go. 
I'm a bee. I'm a bee. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a. Oh no 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 no. Oh no no no. What? The, what the? What's your problem? It's because Jace posted some hard truth, and and it makes me sad. Is this like when Billy told you he didn't need a certain sandwich, and you had a conniption fit about it? Then she said, "Happy Ooh. birthday on Easter," or was that New Year's? No, happy, it was New Year's. Happy Year. birthday, Jesus! I was sick. I was sick, and I was high off cold medication. That's where the whole happy, happy birthday. Uh... birthday. I mean, the music's banging. Trust me, there's. I'm. I'm not going to be delicate with this one when when it comes time for the vote. It's. You have to treat this like the child who who just. You know. No, not the child at the back of the bus. That's mean. It's oh, no, fell off the back of the bus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be like that though. Um, oh, to quote Carlos Mencia, I fell off the back of the bus. Oh God! And when you I quote, think that's and, and when you quote Carlos Mencia, you're actually quoting whoever he stole the joke from. And yeah. to quote yeah. George Lopez, why are you crying? <laughs> <gasps> Mexican oh, wow. oh. joke was stolen from somebody probably way better. <laughs> true. Oh my goodness. Yes, it's true. I've been Dungeons and Dragons DM for over three decades and still only play second edition. Has great time talking to rascal news about big time campaign I run. What the hell and was that? On what what? Yeah, what the cool. name of shoddy collusion detection? Was that bull fuckery? This that, game, this game really sucks. This game blows. This, uh, this game fucking mean. sucks. It fucking blows. It fucking sucks and fucking blows at the same time. I couldn't Thanks, like Angel this. I'll, I'll I'll wait until it's review time. I will wait until it's review time because if I say any more, it's just gonna piss me off. This game pisses out my ass. This game is a big diarrhea dump sandwich. Anyway. Thoughts on Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero Dane? This game fucking sucks. That was my YouTube poop. Hold on, somebody's calling me. Hello? Sure, we're just calling about okay. your project center one, please. No problem. All right, cool. So you're going to pay the $4,000? Okay. They've already hung up. They immediately said oh. wrong person and then hung up. <laughs> oh. Anyway, uh, thoughts on Sub-Zero Mortal Kombat Mythology, Sub-Zero Mythology's Mortal I, I, Kombat. Jason. I said like I mean, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's ass. I said... I said my shit at the beginning of the game. Why the fuck would you give a platforming beat em up fucking fighting game controls? Ashley. As much as I love Mortal Kombat, and believe you me, I will fight like a motherfucker to defend the franchise. I cannot defend. Cannot defend. Look into a platformer they put a button where you have to manually turn and i remember playing this on the playstation i was so pissed off that i could not get past the wind portion i had to use cheat code to get all the way to the final boss and even then it was a pain in the ass what would have made this game better is if they took some of the functions of a platformer and smooth it out a little bit. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't mind the combo system. I don't mind the fact that in order for you to get your powers, you have to level up. I mean, that's that's with any platformer or any RPG. Sub-Zero has to get stronger. But 
he should have been able to freeze people at the start because of the fact that it's in his blood. It's in his DNA. It's like a cantrip. And for fuck's sakes, they should have done something about the goddamn trap system because that shit gets infuriating the further along you progress. I cannot defend this game as much as I love it. It is a love-hate relationship, and it pisses me off the more and more I see it. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, yeah, cool. Billy. This game is the mushroom stamp on the Mortal Kombat franchise. It's true. It's true. This game is the Superman Four, the Quest for Peace. I rather I, I rather watch Superman Four than play this the game. The Quest for Peace. I I don't know. I think Spec Ops might be a little worse than this. Anyway. I could be wrong. Special Forces is fucking uh, Special Forces. Let's just say Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub Zero ran so that Mortal Kombat Special Forces could do a cartwheel and fall flat on its ass. It's fair. <laughs> this, yeah, uh, there's Jeez. nothing left to say that everybody else hasn't said about this game than it's ass. Scores out of 10, Dane. Zero. Jason? Shit pickles. <laughs> Zero. Ashley? <laughs> As much as I hate to give it this score, I'm giving it a zero. Billy. Penis. I mean, zero. Uh, you know, <laughs> penis would be more pleasurable than this. This is a zero. Yeah. That's why I said zero afterwards. <laughs> not all penises are desirable. Hashtag not all penises. Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> this this one more again. Find out what we're playing the last game of the episode. <clears throat> Bless you, Billy. Yeah. Okay. Bumba clot. Hmm, familiar. Oh. Veto, 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 veto. Oh, uh, yeah. Was this the last Ken Griffey game they ever made? Uh, possibly. Uh, Asher says veto. It has to be unanimous. Veto. Ever, anybody you know else? what? We suffered through one bad game already. Yeah, Vito. All right, uh, Dane, that just leaves you. I mean, how much are you guys willing to give me? Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, I take unmarked bill. All right, fine, Vito. So are you using your Vito then, Dane? Yes. All right. I feel like if I said no, I would be like, oh, fuck you, Dave, you fucking face tomatoes. It's not a bad it's game. It's just after to Mortal Kombat, you really can use something better. Yeah, that's true. Cookie All right. Face well, uh, we have, we're down to one veto, so let's hope. <laughs> let's fucking hope. Whatever we <laughs> land on is better. Show me and no. Bio freaks. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is better. Okay, yeah, this one's all right. Yeah, if I, if I remember correctly, this is a pretty dang good. This is a game. this is a hidden gem. Oh, okay. pretty giddy gun draw. In the not too, oh, no, I'm it is the not body too distant future. Next Sunday. Oh, it's reading it. Our, it's reading it for me. Never mind. Never mind. This is at least something we can make fun of. The techno industrial civil wars. The the members of Nine Inch Nails fought the members of Stabbing Westward. <laughs> I can't even save myself. This is the first day of my last days. <laughs> See, the, the joke is that Dane's sang a stabbing Westward song and I sang a Nine Inch Nails song. With Wall Street and <clears throat> anyway. Wow. 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 Fucking wow. Welcome hysterical. to wow. Neo America. Yeah, no, I, I confused Bio Freaks for Body Harvest. Body Harvest was the good game. This is at least something we can make fun of. I played Body Harvest. I don't remember it being that good. 
Uh, guilty pleasure. It's not. It's not. It's not a phenomenal game, but you know. So interesting. Uh, interesting thing I found out recently. Apparently, uh, the studio now known as Rockstar Games uh, was once considered to be one of Nintendo's all-star third-party developers. Hey, hey, and listen, well trusted. Listen, listen all y'all, it's sabotage. Uh, uh, they're they're responsible for the hidden gem that I call uh, <laughs> that I call Grand Theft Animal, aka Space Station Silicon Valley. For some reason, I thought you were gonna say Grand Theft Anal. <laughs> no, that's that's something that uh, Vince McMahon, I'm pretty sure, uh, did though at one point. What a shitty joke. Get it? Because I shit on people? Yeah. <laughs> That's good shit. That's good shit. Such good shit. Who? So you're fighting Cyclone. That's right. He's a clown. That's Psycho. Yeah. Hence the name. Is he is he a psycho clown or is he a psychic clown? I knew you were gonna say that clowns are evil. <laughs> <laughs> laser clown, laser clown. <laughs> Damn it, Dale, calm down. Damn it, Dale, dong, dang, dong, ding, dang, dong. Oh my God, I think Hank's having a stroke. Dale ding dong, Dale de dong ding boom hour. That's right, I'm having a stroke on my wiener. <laughs> Dale. Or, no, that I was mean, an American Death episode. <laughs> I mean, Hank, I told you oh, not to do that in public. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I uh, I went to go get myself some dinner. <gasps> Bio Warriors! I remember this. Bio Bio, first of all, first of all. Bio Freaks. Thank you. Okay. Second. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Yes, I, I remember the game. I liked it. Sapo just vomited all over the place. Whoa. Ow, 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 ow. Have you, have you, have you, have you, you forget to get, in the, yeah, you forget to get out of the fucking goop? Oh, oh. Can I get him out of the goop, please? It would be real easy to win if he just keeps falling backwards into the goop. I just like the word goop. I can't get out of the goop! What the fuck? My favorite, oh, that was my shield. Uh, that's a shield. <laughs> Your character has, like, shield abilities. Um, no, my favorite character was Dipperhead. Can, the, the can someone get me out of the soup? It looks like soup! It's poop. But yeah, um, the, uh, the character that is on the front of this game is, uh, Zipperhead. And I think that's what sold it for me. Have you, have you, have you ripped off limbs yet? No. Mmm. <laughs> Victory! Kick him while he's I'll down. Be, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, there's Zipperhead. I'll be honest with you. This ain't so bad. I mean, it got shit panned. It got shit panned. Don't get me wrong. It's not a perfect game, but it's not a bad fighting game when you learn the mechanics. Just another Mortal Kombat clone, for the most part. Yeah, but so was War Gods, and that was literally made by the same company. So. But the thing is, I and don't Mace think in this age. game you could do fatalities. Like, you could just, it, like, mutilate your opponent and rip off limbs. And I know the uh, the final boss fight is, like, an epic one that's a couple of levels. I lost it, did. And that's why I love Zipperhead. Even though he looks like a fucking voodoo doll. I love him. 
I love zipper heads. Look at all those polygonals. Shiny polygonals. Look at all them polygamists. Look at all them polygamists. Shiny polygamists. It's a Pokemon. <laughs> shiny happy polygamist. Look, I caught me a shiny polygamist. <laughs> oh, she's missing good arm. It's the Warminator. Who's missing? Oh, I'm missing an armor. Oh yeah, I am. You were missing an arm, yeah, when you won. Um, what was that Sega Genesis game where you could chop off people's limbs? Not Mortal Kombat. Well, here's here's the thing. Even with both of your arms gone, you can still fight. Yeah, it's like, just anything that I do pull. with my left hand is gonna miss because it's gone. Uh, I can see anything right now. Oh, what never mind. It's there. It's there now. Um, well, it's because you yeah, can no, hit my hand. You don't. You know, I can, like, I can say that I, I want to burn yeah, the altar. What, 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 what are you What are you saying, oh. Dane? <laughs> never mind. I'm trying to listen to you. Everybody keeps talking. Because everybody else is not important. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow. Hey, it's the chick from Fern Gully. <laughs> Holy. Where, where's Robert Williams as a bat? I mean, Delta does kind of look like a mix of the Fern Gully lady meets uh, Jade from... Delta Dawn? What's that uh, power you got on? Uh, what's, what's... First what's, of all... Uh, Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct. First of yes. all, the character's name is Krista. Put some goddamn respect on her name. And second of all, Tim Could Curry was Hexus, and he was wonderful. I couldn't remember so, her. Tim yes, Curry was wonderful. Is there anything Tim Curry's in that he isn't wonderful? That's the question. That's Pretty true. sure it's almost everything. I mean, even the, Navy. he's even the good parts of the bad movies. I mean, he was the I best mean, part of Congo. It's very he was true. an okay Gomez Adams. He, he he was even a decent uh, Emperor Palpatine. I'm, I'm Emperor Palpatine. Mm -hmm. Do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lick play... this microphone. Did he play the chicken villain in the Duckman show who was like, oh, 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 oh. I'm not, I'm not Japanese. I don't remember. He was the yeah. He was I the remember rooster. he played a chicken man, and he had that that laugh, but I can't remember if it was from Duck Man or from Darkwing Duck. Oh, he's he's God damn. He's so edgy. He's Bullseye with a Z. Yep. He's Bullsy. Like he bull, Bullseye. Bullseye is the quote-unquote John Cena of this game. Like Bullseye is like the is, John Zai. He is the main I think you're going to see him the John Stamos. Really. Yep. <laughs> everywhere <laughs> you look, everywhere there's a bullseye, a bullseye. A piss to hold on to. There's a ball sack of balls. Ball sack he of balls. Well, I mean, they did live in San Francisco, so... You put your ball sack into my mouth. And then you have Jacking to put it in San a Francisco. little further south. That's the only part that thing remembers from that special. Aw, oh, you bitch. <laughs> I went wow. up to the fucking top there sack. and... Is there a random select? No. Uh, let's be... Let's give him a mirror match. Zipper head. Zipper head. Shit. No, I mean, you should have been chanting that before I made a selection. Doesn't really do any good afterwards. I had a waffle fry in my mouth. Well, that's your problem now, isn't it? <laughs> it's called dinner, my guy. It's called dinner, 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 dinner. It's, too, it's called yeah, winner, 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 dinner. dinner. No, no, winner, it's winner, she winner, 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 taught dinner, tater, it dinner, tater, dinner. tater, 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 Ashley, do you listen to yourself when you talk? I swear I thought she was going to call me a tater, tater, dick. I was trying to combine tater, tot and pit, not tater, tot and dick. 
Tater tot tater. Tater dick, tater dick, ooh, tater, tater dick, tater dick, tater dick. And now I'm just reminded, because I watched uh, Quiet on the set of that uncomfortable oh, no. Please clip. don't say that they they said tater dick on, like, all that or something. I don't want to know. Really. No, no. The uncomfortable clip of Ariana Grande trying to milk a potato. Oh. You know, you see... I don't know what you're dance. talking about. I thought that was hot. <laughs> I'm Bill Clinton. I love it. And some people wonder why we grew up watching Cartoon Network instead of Nickelodeon. We yeah, didn't know at yeah, the time. Yeah, I watched Cartoon Network way more. We didn't know. Hey, and it could come out in five years' time that some horrible shit was happening behind the scenes at Cartoon Network. You don't know. You don't know. Maybe I mean, Cow and Chicken I mean, were actually... did go down at Cartoon Network, Listen, uh, specifically and uh, were actually lovers. with you don't Clarence. Okay, it's quiet. Maybe the All kids, maybe the kids the next un- door were actually fully grown adults that they made they made them smoke, so it stunted their growth. All I can say is Jerry Trainer is, is a fucking hero. What about Jerry Atrick? Thoughts on thoughts on bio freaks, Dane. Oh, oh, I can talk now. Okay, no. Stop being a dunkle time. Uh, talk, talk about this game. <laughs> it is a very good. I said, stop fight. being a dunkle time. Oh, you do. Well, I, I think I keep going. Okay. No, it's a good game. It's it's a clone of Mortal Kombat, obviously, but it's it's a decent clone. It's not like uh, fucking what was that one where the you, the human chlamydia was there. Jason. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, no, anything anything's better than the one with this, the human clitoris. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Anything's better than fucking Dark Rift. I would never play Dark Rift again. You couldn't pay me to play that game again. Uh, Ashley. I like this game. It's it's not perfect. I know these balls. And it's, I assure you, it is a lot better than Dark Rift because at least you're not playing as a sentient uh, inside-out clitoris. Um, it, the boss, it's a shame you didn't get to the boss level, because that actually would have been fun to watch. Um, for its imperfections, I wouldn't consider it the worst fighting game. Not the best, not perfect, but enjoyable enough. Uh, Billy. I enjoyed this when I was a kid. I had it for the, the uh, PlayStation 1, and uh, I I really enjoyed it. And this brought back a lot of memories because I got it for Christmas back in the late 90s. Yeah, I think this game unfairly got a lot of shit. And honestly, if it hadn't been for the comparisons to Mortal Kombat, I feel like this could have stood on its own as a fairly good fighting game. It's not like the greatest one or ever. Uh, And there's plenty of other fighting games on the N64 that are better than it. There's at least a couple that are better than it, obviously Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Um, I would argue maybe Mortal Kombat 4, which is actually upcoming. It's on the wheel. Um, uh, I would even say um, Deadly Deadly Arts. I, what was the game? We uh, Fighter's Destiny. Fighter's Destiny is better than this one. Um, but at the same time, it's good. It's not a bad fighting game. And I think it got unfairly judged for being a Mortal Kombat clone. Scores out of 10, Dane. Six. Uh, Jason. Six. Ashley. Seven. Billy. Seven. I'm going to give it a seven as well. On this edition of the show, we played Banjo Kazooie, Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub Zero, and Bio Freaks. Best game of the episode, Dane. Banjo Kazooie. Jason. Uh, Bio Kazooie. Uh, I mean, uh, Banjo Freaks. I mean, uh... Banjo Freaks is just set in Alabama. (laughs) (laughs) Banjo Kazooie. 
Uh, Ashley. Banjo Kazooie. Billy. Ken Griffey Jr. Oh, Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> no, Banjo Kazooie is the winner. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Forgione, Billy Carter, Jason Amherst, and Ashley Miller, I'm Mike Riley saying, see you next time on Retro Roulette. Good night, everybody. Go home.